Hello everybody, Gibbyold here, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. So, as you can see, this is one strange setting that we have here. Indeed, we did upgrade the game to the latest version, which is 1.4. So, let me see, I'll just uh, read what is written there, because I did not actually read it. Uh, this save game has been imported from an older version. We have rebalanced the game, added new consoles, increased the storyline, and added a new couple of features. You should be able to continue the save without issues, but if you want to get the full reworked experience, please consider starting a new game. Okay, so it seems like we won't get the full uh, new experience, so I guess that will be up for Season 3, because I'm not starting this back. Alright. Okay, so our office could really do some renovation. Computer are out of date, yes. We'll upgrade the setup. And here we are. Alright. So now, okay, so we have... Alright. So from what I can see, there's been some redesigns applied, which is pretty cool. Alright, G3, thank you. G3 training. Wait, what? Generate game report. Okay, this is all new stuff. Okay, uh, let me tell you some uh, some things that have been added into the game. Okay. However, I'm not really sure if we'll have all of that into this game because they said that we need to start a new game if you want the full new experience. But there's been some new game mechanics such as the post post release game reports. So I guess we could try that. And company expertise. Not sure what that means, but I guess we'll find out. Also, there's been a rebalanced review system. So that means that the review system will be uh, maybe better. So now I can't try to work my way like I did before with the um, the review system because I knew a bit how it worked. But now it will be completely new. So it will be pretty unpredictable, which is great because it, uh, it will be surprising this time. And also ability to unlock multi-platform games. I'm not sure if we're going to have that in this game though. But yeah, there's a lot of things. There's new artwork, of course. So, yeah. So, anyways, let's try those new features out. Game report. Let's try this. Uh, let's take our most successful game. Okay, Vamp Dragon Blood, which was pretty great. So let's make a game report for that. Okay, when the fans have waited, they announced the Dream Vast. Right, that's good. Looking forward to see what's that all about. Also, it does generate some research, which is good. And... Finish. Alright, post-release analysis is complete and we got the following results. Vampire and RPG are a great combination. World design seems to be very important for this type of game. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, that's, that's a report to tell you, like, um, what are the strengths of your game so you can use them a bit later. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, because this game, it lacked a bit of feedback, so... Yeah, this is pretty great. That's a good feature. Game reports are a great way to get more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report at each game. Okay. Uh, now that you completed your first, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. Okay, research menu. Why? Uh, develop new game. No, we need to have a guy to research. Okay, I should probably have read the what's left of, of uh, that message, but oh well, <laughs> it's fine. Right, work on better dialogues now. Or wait. Okay, now we'll work with the basics first. Wanted to include multiplayer, but we're not that far yet. You research something else. Uh, new topic. Let's see. Uh, wait, this is strange. Whoa. Okay, it seems like all the topics have been... Okay, the order is not the same as before because I've got topics that are in the last few topics that we can get. Like Ninja. I guess that's part of the balanced, the newly balanced review system. So, we got an advantage. We've got the... Wait, no, I'm not really sure how that will work. Well, anyways, let's work on game dev. Let's make a another game dev tycoon in game dev tycoon, because why not? 
Right, better dialogues, there we go. Uh, no, we don't have enough research points, so you're going to be trained. Okay, that's good. Now we have the sign, we have the effect as well for these things. So yeah, so the game pretty much just improved. Uh, giving more feedback, giving more mechanics. Um, yeah, they, they did a good job from what I can see so far. I'm not too far into the changes, but they seem to have done a pretty good job. Uh, they fixed pretty much the stuff that people were complaining about, which is pretty great. Um, Alright. So, we're going to train him in... I think Game Jam, is it? Okay, I don't have enough research points. Okay, I need to actually have research point to do these. Alright, well, let's make a new game. Let's make those research points that we want. Alright, I'm gonna search for another game this time. Yes! <laughs> we're, going to, you're, we're going to make a sequel to Spying Agent Drake. Just because we can. Drake deserves to be in other games. Alright, so... He's going to be back. Spying Agent Drake 2. Oh yeah, and apparently we have increased character limit, so I'm going to try out something. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Just gonna try to test the limit. Oh yeah, that's way better. Yep, we do have a lot of space now. Alright. That's pretty good. Spying Agent Drake 2. Whoa. What? Uh... Okay, this is... <laughs> this is really strange. Okay, that's weird bug. I just scrolled through that text box and it scrolls me through the features. Okay, this is pretty strange bug. Well, anyways. Seems like dragging the text box have an influence into the game mechanics. Not sure how, but... There we go. Alright, that's gonna be a medium game. I'm gonna be ambitious with this one. It's a spy action game. For the gambling with the game engine number one. Next. Yes. Build the best game ever. Alright. Uh, drag stuff here. Alright, yeah, that's true. We're now up to that point. So, yet either dev, you're gonna be gameplay. Jesse is gonna be. Uh, he's good in tech, so it's gonna be engine. And Ricardo is gonna be good in story. There we go. Now that's an action game. So engine, I'm gonna put that a bit lower. Story, maybe a bit less, a bit more. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be good, I guess. Well, at least we do have some hype, so this should be good. Alright, working into a new game, would you be willing to share some information? Yes! I am willing. Oh! Okay, this is new. Okay, so we do share the actual information now, we don't have our character just do it all for us, now we have to actually do it. Okay, alright, let's read this. Uh, many of our readers are curious about your decision. Uh, your new game is a spy action game. Can you tell us uh, such a game would receive more focus on AI or world design? Uh, spy action. That's gonna be... Okay, we're gonna do world design since this is a spy game. So we expect the spy to just go into more nations and stuff like that. So we'll put more world design. That's good. It, require, it requires you to actually think. Oh boy. Um. Wait. Did I just see that? Look at this. With Alawi Son Dragons. Uh, is it my game that screwed up or. Because I know I never died. I never did that uh, typo. Now it's written always on dragon on that red wall at the bottom left. So why is it written like this? Alawi Son Dragons. I guess, I guess those um, game reporters actually do typos. This is a really strange bug. What's up with that? I like how they screwed up always on, but dragons is just fine. Alright, anyways. 
Uh, we discussed their upcoming spy action game and as company founder, yet another dev, Yad, as as he is known also. How different development areas are prioritized. In this interview, uh, he said that what design is important. It seems that other and street professionals disagree. <laughs> it's a spy game, come on! It's not just an action game. You have to count the um, the type of the game and not just the genre. Anyways, yet under dev, you're gonna do uh, level design. Jesse is gonna do AI because it's good in tech. And Ricardo, you do dialogues. AI is gonna be about that much. <laughs> That'll be ironic if we actually lied without knowing. Just we put more AI instead of putting more world design, and they just did not. They just uh, um, they talked about us in the media. They lied. They put some good AIs in there. Okay, it's going pretty good. Wow, we did lose a lot of money though. Hope we can recover that five hundred thousand that we just lost. Okay, Jesse, you go in... Okay, world design is right here, All right? Jesse, you go in sound. Ricardo, you go in graphics. Uh, yet under dev, you go in there. Oh boy. I think we'll need more employees because right now, three employees doesn't seem to cut it for a medium game. Uh, world design. It's gonna be... I think we have lied to the media, guys, because I don't think I can put much world design. Unless we put Ricargo, Ricargo, Ricardo in there. Yeah, that doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, wait, no, that's because he's in two places. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, boy. Right, well, we're gonna work with that. Not sure how that's gonna turn out, but that's gonna be it. Night. Uh, new topics, apparently. I don't think this is a new topic, spy. Night. Put a bit more technology and finish. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can edit the name now after the game is done as well. All right, good features. This is pretty cool. All right, reviews. Let's see. Five. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, there we go. We have five. Focus on level design served this game very well, apparently. I hope the sales will go pretty well. Uh, yeah, I think they did. Let's go in small boot. Okay. Spying agent break 2. Uh, moderate responses. <laughs> yep, pretty much as much responses as we've got for the first one. Do you want to commit crime? Nope. Thank you. I like how they're so persistent. They just expect me to someday just fall for crime, but no, we're not that desperate for now. <laughs> At least not for now. We might be in the future, but not now. But crime is an option in the future. Just just want to put that out. <laughs> we're an horrible company. Everybody, look, this is Spy Agent Drake. You know, Drake, the guy that nobody cares about. Yeah, well, he's in this game. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Alright. I'm just having too much fun just thinking of Drake. You know, the guy that is the hero of every game that is that, that nobody cares about. <laughs> uh, this is This is pretty great. The day that will make a good game with Drake in it will be a miracle. 
least Wyvern President has had his moments, but now he's just going downhill. Oh god, I forgot to put a timer for this episode. This is really rare that I forget timers. Alright, I'm gonna put the 10 minute timer. I think it's been about 10 minutes since we've been recording. Or maybe even more. Alright, anyways. This might be a shorter or longer episode. I have no idea. Alright, so I guess we've made more money than we... Oh boy. Yeah, we've made 200,000 only. This is not really good. Okay, let's do a game report. You go on vacation. You generate another game report for Reverend President 3. Why has Reverend President gone downhill? You search for that. Hi, what's the genre? This should be good. Although, I don't have much experience with multi-genre into this game, so I'm not too sure how it's going to go. It might go horribly wrong. Oh boy, this is a lot of things. Right. Spine action, great combo, story and quest seems to be not too important. Platform, genre match, action gambling is okay. And audience match, audience match is great. Alright, thank you. Yeah, this is... I think I'm gonna love this feature because it... It does allow to have experience. Like, our company... Our company makes games. And it makes... As it makes more games, it generates more experience. And so, as it makes more experience, we learn stuff and we know how to make better games in the future. So, it, it's actually quite logical. It's pretty good. Government sim is a great combo. Sounds used to be important. Platform genre is great. Sim PC. Uh, onset match is everyone PC good. Everyone government is great. Night. Right, you go on vacation. Good job, Ricardo. Right, I think we can find a publishing deal now. Just because we never did that, and I think it's time to do it. So, martial arts, <laughs> that's not something that, that I would want to do. Uh, medieval adventure, although that's a big score. I might want to fami familiarize myself with the new uh, review system before I start to go into these eight uh, review scores. Okay, well, seems like we'll have to do a martial arts game. For the Master V, this is an old system. Uh, Alright, well, let's do it. Why not? Okay, I need to research martial arts. Topic, martial arts. Then we'll research... Uh, multiplayer, why not? I like how we're searching for multiplayer before searching for better AIs. I think we have our priorities a bit wrong. Like you research more stuff. Uh, okay, now we'll get the better AI, but we can't. Alright, well, let's find that publishing deal. Alright, <laughs> this should go well. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. Alright, so it's gonna be... Oh yes, I have a good idea. Dragon Sensei. <laughs> Don't question me on that. This is the best title for a martial arts game. There we go. Dragon Sensei. It's gonna be for... Everyone? Game engine number one. Okay, I need to pick a genre. Action. Next. Go. I should probably make 3D games pretty soon because it's been, well, right now we're in 1992. I don't think, I don't think uh, 3D games will be that great, but we could try it. Yeah, we could try with version one. Uh, game reports, you start to gain insights into the development process. Uh, these insights are shown then as ints into the development screen. Oh, this is pretty cool. So, I don't need to, like, remember all the aspects, it's just written into the game. Ranges from plus 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 to minus minus. Okay. 
when ins and with a question mark, it means that you have insight from a game in the same genre, but that you are not yet sure. Alright, interesting. Okay, so story and quest apparently is not too great, but we don't know enough yet. Uh, Alright. We'll put it a bit down because I yeah I don't expect it to be that great for martial arts action. We'll just put an old bearded man and that's going to be the sensei and it's going to teach us about martial arts and we're going to kill ninjas after that. <laughs> that's going to be the whole story. Alright, engine's going to be a bit higher. Let's go. Okay, this is going great so far. We have no insight whatsoever for the other stuff. So, we'll put AI a bit down. Level design is going to be higher, dialogues. Uh, we don't need all that much. The sensei is going to be mute. He's going to be silent. He's going to be mysterious. That's how we want our sensei. <laughs> I like how I'm basing myself. I'm basing the entire game on the sensei. And nothing else. Uh, right, we'll design. Don't need all that much. Graphics. It's gonna be at the top. Sound as well. What magnificent graphics and sound. For the sensei to be represented in his entire glory. <laughs> what am I doing? The sensei is gonna be glorious! He's gonna be the best! Right. Right, give me 4D design and I'm gonna be happy. And there we go. Alright, 42, that's perfect. Wow, we're getting tech records all over. Okay, sound. And these guys are going to get a raise. Yep. Okay, video playback and soundtrack. That's gonna be good. Right now we're losing money. Quite a lot of it actually. We lost 1.2 million so far. Okay, good reviews. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to get used to this new system. Because we seem to not be doing so great. We're no longer just average, we're now bad. Okay, play system 2 is gonna be released. Alright, that's the beginning of our... Of the consoles that we know more now. Of course, I'm not speaking for everybody. But yeah, you know what I mean. Right, at least it meets the required readings, so that's good. And we're making a good amount because it's a publishing deal, so we're getting a lot of fans as well, so that will be great. Although I wish the publisher would just steal all our money like that. But that's the reality. Publishers do steal pretty much all the money. Alright. Okay, let's do something while the game is selling. Because if we do nothing, then we're just wasting our time. Uh, this guy is gonna learn G3 Code Jam. Uh, no, wait, no, Pixel Cup. This guy is designed. I don't want to train him in programming. That would be silly. Alright, you are gonna learn Code Jam. And you will learn everything. PC Software Juggernaut, Micronoft. Okay, this is interesting. I don't think they said that before in the old version uh, of the game that uh, that uh, Mirkonoft or Microsoft was known as a PC Software uh, company. Right. Dragon Sensei seems to be selling pretty well, actually. Uh, Play System 2 is released. That's going to be a good system to develop on. Alright. Ok, 
Okay, that's... Okay, that's pretty good. You see, Dragon Sensei, it's getting attention. Alright, let's see how much we sold. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> this is pretty bad. That profit is pretty horrible, actually. Wow. I think we should stick to small games right now because we don't we don't make that much profit from uh, medium games. I think we should wait until we get more people. Because medium games, yeah, it's too much for us right now. We don't want to try and do too much because that that was our main mistake in last season, and that's what ended up crashing us. So this time, let's try to make small games. Actually, yeah, let's do that into the next episode. Oh, this is interesting. A small number of dedicated fans have asked that we release the source code. Uh, game engine number one. Doing so would satisfy these fans, but given that we worked hard on the engine, we could also sell licenses for it. Uh, uh, you know what? We're gonna be a good company and just give it away. And we're gonna make our money elsewhere. We gain 1,000 fan and it cost us 4,000. Alright, well, that's not too much. Besides, we did gain 1,000 fans, which is pretty good. Alright, so on that, I think that's going to be the ending for this episode, everybody. So, yeah, those are interesting changes into the game. I look forward to actually master that new review system. This should be interesting. And I like these uh, small changes that, we, that they've put because it... It was my main, there were my main complaints about the game, just the fact that it wasn't um, too indicative, like, it, they didn't give you that much feedback. But now, the game does give you feedback, and this is great, because now we know what to do, um, and we know what is good, what is bad, and we can try to work something with that. So, yeah, this, could, this uh, should be interesting into the future episodes, and yeah, so that's gonna be all. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.